Oh God, my hard drive is full. I have to offload some stuff onto my external. So let's say you want to offload some huge files from your Mac onto an external hard drive. I'm going to show you the basics of how to do that right away in this video, but we're also going to have a little conversation about some of the risks associated with doing that and what to do to mitigate those risks. The first thing I always do is whatever stuff I wanna move from my Mac onto an external hard drive, I put it into its own folder. So I'll click on the first large file in the list, scroll down to the bottom, shift click on the last, then go file and say new folder with selection. And then I'm gonna give it a clear name. So we're gonna call it uh, video offload from Mac to external and then date. June 2022. Uh, this is gonna help me later to remember what this was on the external hard drive because it's very easy to forget these kinds of things. Step two, I always get info to check the size. So command I on the keyboard to get info. Yes, 5.2 gigabytes is going to help me in my life <laughs> to have that space. Then you just drag it to the external hard drive and let go. And you're gonna see a copy or transfer window. Mine's very fast because my external is a solid state hard drive. Um, I would always consider dragging it to a second external hard drive to be safe. When you put stuff on just one hard drive and then delete it from your Mac, now if you lose this hard drive, you lose those files. And it's easy to lose these. It's easy to drop them. They have often a spinning platter on the inside and if you just move it a certain way, it's gonna damage the hard drive. Uh, so if you wanna be safe, I would take that same folder and just put it onto a second external before you delete it from the Mac. So then step five, I would say check the files on the external. Um, I like to do this for my own sanity and peace of mind. I'll go into the hard drive. Yes, it's got the same name. Uh, I would get info, command I again on this one. Check the size, uh, yes it is uh, the same size. I would even go into that folder and play some of these videos. I would play the top video and play the bottom video, just make sure that everything is working as it should on the external. Um, then once you have confirmed that it's copied and you're sure that you're okay with deleting the stuff from your Mac, maybe you made a second copy, maybe you are accepting the risk if you <laughs> didn't make a second copy, that's okay. Then you just delete this folder from the Mac. You can drag it down to the trash or the keyboard command is command delete and it moves it to the trash. And then you can just empty the trash. You right click and empty trash or just go into the trash and click the empty button in the top right there. Uh, then you want to eject your hard drive you can right click and eject, or you can drag the hard drive to the trash and it actually changes to an eject icon like that. And then once it has been ejected, you put it into a velvet padded bag and put it on a shelf somewhere. And now you have offloaded your stuff onto an external hard drive, hopefully two external hard drives, and you've reclaimed that space on your Mac. Now let's say you just got a new hard drive and you wanna make sure that it's Mac format because not all hard drives are Mac formatted when you buy them. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. The first thing you wanna do is just connect the new hard drive. Uh, I recommend ejecting all other hard drives and unplugging them from your computer so that there's no risk of accidents erasing the wrong hard drive. So this is the one that I want to erase. If you go to the Go menu and then Utilities, that's also in Applications, so you can go Finder and then Applications, scroll down to Utilities, and then go into Disk Utility. Now in here, you can see there's the internal hard drives, we don't wanna do anything with those, and there's the external hard drive, this one here. And it will tell you here what format it is. So this one is XFAT, which is uh, Windows PC format. You can also just click once on the hard drive and then press Command-I on the keyboard to get info. And it says format here, XFAT. 
So that's a quick way to see what format it is. Yes, I wanna erase this, I wanna change it to be Mac format. So you highlight the hard drive on the left here, then you go to erase up in the top right. Now I would say probably the best format to use for most Mac stuff would be Mac OS Extended Journaled. You can give it a name, you can choose whatever name you want, type it there, and then just click erase. That's how you would erase it. Of course, don't erase a hard drive that has stuff on it. So this is only for a new hard drive that is like fresh out of the box. You haven't put anything on it. Because um, when you erase something, all of the data is gone. And then you get this beautiful green check mark. So this means that the erasing was successful. You can just click done and then Command Q to quit out of disk utility. So now this hard drive is Mac format and you can do those steps I talked about earlier in this video for uh, offloading folders onto the hard drive. There's a whole lot that we can help with one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, if you just want a pro to do these steps with you just to be super sure and safe, uh, if some things on your Mac look different than on mine, uh, if you've already been copying stuff to external hard drives for years and now your data is all over the place, we can help with that. If you want to free up space on your Mac some other way, basically finding wasted space, maybe some old iPhone backups, runaway email logs, junk in the system folder, we can help you find that. If you want help with some space saving cloud options like Dropbox has Selective Sync, Smart Sync, uh, or iCloud has optimized Mac storage, if you want to move stuff out of clouds, like Dropbox, iCloud, Google Drive, uh, and, or any other uh, storage cloud, and you want to put that stuff onto an external or externals. Uh, if you're moving stuff into a cloud and also onto an external hard drive and then freeing up that space on your Mac, this is a common one. You actually want to have it in a cloud and on the external hard drive, but not on your computer. We can help with that. Uh, if you need to back up and erase a hard drive, maybe it's PC format and you want it to be Mac format and it has stuff on it that you don't want to lose. If your external hard drive is APFS format for a time machine and you can't copy stuff to it or make folders, uh, we just use disk utility to add a container. We can do that with you. Um, or scripts like Carbon Copy Cloner to automatically clone your main external to a second external. Those are super useful. Uh, or any of a thousand other scenarios you might have that I did not cover in this video. Just head to macandhome.com slash booking and we will help with any of that, all of that, or whatever else you need. Boom, Mac Epiphany. If you found this helpful and you want some private Mac coaching with me or someone from my team, just head to macandhome.com slash booking. We work with people all over the world. We'll help you with whatever is on your Mac problems list and you will never feel judged or shamed for whatever mess you are in. Oh God, my laptop hard drive is full. I have to offload some big files onto this hard drive.